Hello everyone. Today we are going to read why do sunflowers love the sun? The author is Siddharth Mehta. The illustrator is Debangshu Molik and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read why do sunflowers love the sun? So sunflowers are this type of flower that you can see here. They are very big and they love the sun, it seems. Let's see how that happens. Viveka wants to paint the sunflower field near her house. She looks at the sunflowers carefully one afternoon. So Viveka is this little girl and what she wants to do is paint the sunflower field near her house and she is looking at the flowers closely to see how she can paint them. I wonder why they are called sunflowers, she says to Montu and Bontu. Maybe it is because they look like the sun. So she's talking to herself and to her dogs here, Montu and Bontu, and she's thinking, why are they called sunflowers? Is it because they look like the sun? So you know what the sun how the sun looks, right? How you draw the sun. You have that center, round center, and you have yellow rays coming out of it. Just like that, sunflowers look. They have a round center and they have these yellow petals coming out of that center. In the evening, Viveka takes Montu and Bontu outside to eat. So in the evening, the two dogs are eating their food. She watches the sunflowers in the distance swaying in the breeze. Look, she says to Billy the cat. The sunflowers look like they are going to fall asleep, just like you. So as Viveka is sitting here near the window and she sees the sunflower field, she's looking at them and they are gently swaying in the breeze, moving side to side gently. And she thinks they are going to fall asleep. They look like, so uh, they look like they are drooping because it's evening time like that. They are just, they look tired at the end of the day. Finally, Viveka sits down to paint. First, she paints the sun high in the sky just like it was in the afternoon. Then she paints the sunflowers with their heads looking down sleepily, like she saw them in the evening. So Viveka starts painting now. See, she has the paintbrush in her hand and she's painting. And she first paints the sun and it's high up in the sky, like afternoon time. And then she paints the sunflowers like how she saw them in the evening time. In the evening, they were just drooping, looking down sleepily. And that's how she paints the sunflowers. In the morning, Viveka goes to the sunflower field to check if her painting is correct. Oh no, she says. 
I have painted them all wrong. I will have to do it again today. The sunflowers look like they are waking up, but the flowers in my painting look like they are falling asleep. So what happens in the morning when she wakes up and she looks at the flowers? They're all looking wide awake. You know, they're looking like they're waking up. They're, uh, you know, they're open. They are standing up a little straighter. But the flowers in her painting, if you remember, she painted in the evening. They are looking like they are drooping and falling asleep. So now she realizes that the flowers look different and she has to do the, do the painting again. This time, I will get it right. Viveka tells Montu and Bontu. She goes out to the field at noon and makes a drawing of how the flowers look. So what does she do? She goes to the field and she makes a copy, a rough copy, right? Of how the flowers look. And this time it is noon. It is the middle of the day and the sun is high up in the sky at that time. The next morning, Viveka runs to the field to check her new painting. How can this be? She cries, are these sunflowers full of mischief or is this magic? So what happened in the morning when she goes to look at the sunflowers, they are again looking like they are just waking up, you know, slightly bent, but not fully straight. And they're just opening their petals and they look different again. So what's going on here? Curious, Viveka climbs the tallest tree in her garden. I am going to watch their every move. Over the next few days, Viveka observes the sunflowers carefully. So what does Viveka decide to do? Now she wants to know if the sunflowers are doing some mischief, trying to look different from when she is painting them. So she is just looking at the sunflowers all day for a few days to see what happens, how they look at different times of the day. And she is observing them. She is looking at them very carefully. She's keeping an eye on them. She paints them every day for a week. Then on Sunday, she looks at all her paintings together. So look, here are all the paintings that Viveka has made of the sunflowers. She has painted them every day at different times. So you can see here, the sun is still low in the sky, which means it's morning time. So what happens to the sunflowers? They are looking like they just woke up. Just a little bit beginning to straighten up, but not straight yet and not fully open yet. And then the sun goes higher and they look a little different. And then here they are when the sun is a little bit higher then at noon, then in the afternoon, and then again at sunset, when the sun is again down in the sky. And look at them, they are looking sleepy. Suddenly, she understands what the sunflowers have been doing. It isn't magic or a trick. She says, smiling, the sunflowers just love to follow the sun. 
So finally, when she sees her paintings at different times of the day together, she has realized what happened here. The sunflowers love the sun so much, they love to follow the sun. So as the sun is going up, the sunflowers are also looking at the sun. So when the sun is high up in the sky, the sunflowers are looking up, straight up, looking right at it. And when it's evening time, the sunflowers also turn to face the sun and they start falling asleep. They start closing their petals. So finally, Viveka has solved the mystery of the sunflowers and this is what her painting looks like. It has the sunflowers at all times of day and so they look different. And finally, it's night and the sunflowers have gone to sleep. So, you saw how sunflowers love the sun. Let's read some more about sunflowers. Why do sunflowers follow the sun? The earth revolves around the sun while also rotating on its axis. As it rotates, half of the planet faces the sun and we call this daytime. At the same time, the other half is in the dark and we call this night. We see the sun rising in the east in the morning and setting in the west in the evening. Throughout the day, plants use the sun's light to prepare their food. But not all plants follow the sun. The stems of young sunflowers contain cells that make them turn towards the sun's light. This property is called heliotropism. This is why sunflowers follow the sun's journey across the sky. So why do sunflowers follow the sun? So you know about the earth, that is where we live, and the sun. The earth goes around the sun, that's called revolving, revolves around the sun. And at the same time, it rotates, that is, turns around itself on its axis. So as it rotates, so let's imagine that this that this here is the sun and as i the earth am rotating and when i am facing the sun like this this half of me gets light but what about the back half of me it's not getting light so this half of me which is the earth that is facing the sun has daytime and the other half of the earth that is not facing the sun has night time. It is dark. The sun's light does not go to that half of the planet at that time. So how do you have day and night? It is because the earth is rotating around its axis. So as the day is, pro is moving, as, the, as time is passing, different part of the earth is facing the sun at any time and that part of the earth has daytime and this is why we see the sun rising in the east in the morning and setting in the west in the evening 
and as long as there is the sun's light fall, falling on the plants the plants use the sun's light to prepare their food and this is how plants get their food and grow and this is why it is so important for plants to have sunlight to be able to live so what's special about sunflowers let's understand that because not all plants do this not all plants turn towards the sun wherever it is so what's special about sunflowers when sunflowers are small their stems have these cells have these small portions the, a cell is a is a small building block that makes up the whole plant and so some cells in sunflower stems make them they have this property that makes them turn towards the sun's light and this property is called heliotropism that is what it is called and because of that the stems automatically turn towards the sun wherever the sun is and so sunflowers follow as the sun is making a journey right from east to west from east to directly over the head to setting in the west the sunflowers are turning towards the sun and this is because of heliotropism i hope you enjoyed this story thank you the difficult words in this story are to sway to slowly move from side to side to observe to watch carefully revolve to move in a circle around something else rotate to turn about your own center cell the smallest living part of any living thing living things like you and i are made up of many many cells heliotropism the property of a cell that makes it turn towards the sun's light try these questions what did viveka observe about the sunflowers write in your own words what happens to cause day and night write in your own words about heliotropism